Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Battlefield 5 is a game full of epic moments, flash, and dazzle. But that shouldn't blind you from some of the incredible, minute details that DICE have packed into this game. Every time I boot up Battlefield 5, it seems I'm finding something new. We've covered everything from spent brass being used to change the red-hot barrel of an MG42 to the dolphins enjoying a swim on the game's Mercury map. If you want to check out all the other details we've uncovered so far, click the link on the screen for the full details playlist. I think we're on our 15th Attention to Details video that tells you just how much of this stuff is out there. But before we get started, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a free-to-play RPG, and it's now available on PC and Mac. It's got the same great gameplay as the Android and iOS versions, but with bumped up graphics and control customizations for ease of play. It's a true cross-platform game, so you can bounce back and forth between your PC and phone, on the go, and anywhere. Now you might remember Raid actually sponsored a video a while back, and guess what? I'm still playing it. I'm up to level 50 and I've unlocked some awesome champions to help me take down some of the biggest and baddest foes in the game. You can find me under Flackfire Gaming and download and registration takes just a moment. You don't even need a super powerful PC to play it. Raid Shadow Legends is fun, it's free to play, it's got a really active online community and you can join us right now by hitting the link in the description. Make sure to do it there to get 50,000 free silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program. With that said, let's dive into 10 more awesome details in Battlefield 5. And for the first on our list, let's head back to the Pacific. Now, you're probably familiar with all of the fortifications you can build on the new maps, the snowmen being my favorite, but you might not have noticed a key detail particular to Iwo Jima. The concrete fortifications and sandbags on the map are tinted just a tad darker. On the account, they would have been made with volcanic sand and ash. Mount Suribachi was an active volcano, so it's pretty much true to life, since most fortifications on the island were constructed with local materials. Another cool detail on the Pacific maps can be seen with one of the game's battle pickups, the Katana. Ideal for cutting through enemy lines, the katana features both a fast attack and a lunge attack. Plus, every kill you get with it grants you 30 health instantly and 15 health per second unless you take damage. If you look a bit closer, however, you'll notice the character actually shifts his hands when running with the sword. And after a successful attack, you can spot blood on the blade. The character even sheaths the weapon properly. Another fun bit of info, if a player has a katana or flamethrower equipped, it actually shows up on their back. For number 3, if you hop on the Type 10 cannon on the Pacific maps, you might be surprised to learn it fires two different projectiles based on what you're shooting at. When engaging ground forces like tanks and infantry, the cannon fires high explosive rounds. But when you target aircraft, it actually fires anti-aircraft shells that detonate in the proximity of enemy airplanes. That's a pretty unique aspect that makes the weapon a dual threat and vital in efforts to defend positions. This is also what makes it my favorite emplacement in Battlefield 5. Jumping over to the Marita map, you can spot some cool attention to detail in the skies above the fighting. Set during the German invasion of Greece, Ju-88 aircraft occasionally roar through that idyllic valley. In addition to setting the tone of the invasion, these aircraft are also carrying drop containers, which could carry any variety of munitions. Some of these containers were also converted to supply containers. Either way, it's a cool detail to build up the idea that these planes aren't just set pieces, they're on a mission going somewhere to do something. Kinda puts the grand scale of such an invasion in perspective. Number 5 is how developers got around trademark issues with weapon manufacturers. Many players often wonder why some weapons aren't exact replicas of their real-world counterparts, and many times it's actually a legal issue. Developers often skirt this with minor modifications, and there are a few examples of this in Battlefield 5. With the new Model 27, you'll spot a small V on the grip. 
That, of course, is typically the location for this Smith & Wesson badge, the original manufacturers of the gun. On the P-38, you can see a small banner reminiscent of the Vata logo, but lacking the letters. There's also the matter of the Browning M1919A6. Instead of using the name Browning on the weapon, Dice opted instead for Adrian, which is probably a tongue-in-cheek reference to one of the game's designers, Adrian DeRuiter. Meanwhile, I also spotted another neat weapon detail while using the Nambu Type 2A. This experimental submachine gun has a few interesting quirks, including a rather unique magazine release. You can actually see your character lift the mag release lever with their thumb when reloading the weapon. It's a very peculiar animation, but a direct result from the weapon's equally bizarre design. Our seventh detail can be seen when equipping the M3 Grease Gun. You can actually see the character flip open the cover assembly. Now this is a key detail since the weapon didn't actually have a manual safety. The cover operated both as a means of keeping debris out of the firing mechanism and kept the bolt from moving forward and discharging the gun. You can also see the cover bounce up and down slightly when firing the weapon. Up next, if you spent a lot of time on Battlefield 5's launch maps, you've probably noticed a few things. Air raids over Rotterdam, or the secret fortifications on Twisted Steel. However, you might not have noticed some small details that remind players they're fighting in areas that were once a person's home. Things like pictures, bookshelves, and even smoke coming out of chimneys speak to the nature of total war and the destruction it brings. It's a solemn reminder that these maps were based on real battles that shattered real lives. For our ninth detail, let's jump back into one of the game's campaign missions, The Last Tiger. Here, you can spot a few interesting details if you're paying close attention. For example, a teddy bear strapped to enemy Sherman tanks. During the scene where Stefan and the crew are cornered in a church, we actually hear American forces ordering their surrender via loudspeaker. This loudspeaker is actually mounted on one of the Sherman tanks, and it's modeled after real propaganda loudspeakers used by American forces during the war. For number 10, let's take a good look at the Panzerfaust. This anti-tank weapon saw extensive use in World War II. It was designed from the ground up to be effective, simple to produce, and easy to use. And reflecting this, you can actually see the sticker with instructions on the projectile and warnings on the tube. Although rudimentary, this information was enough for even poorly trained soldiers like the German Volkssturm to make effective use of the weapon, but it wasn't enough to halt Allied forces. And since you made it this far, how about a couple more bonus details? If you spend a lot of time in tanks in Battlefield 5, you might have noticed a cool audio detail. When a tank has been heavily damaged, you can actually hear the coughing of the crew inside as they presumably choke on the smoke. I realize that's a little bit dark, but it underscores the tough conditions many of these tankers endured. Lastly, here's a quick tip for players on Pacific Storm. If you're looking to cross open water, there's a simple trick to make sure your vehicle doesn't end up a permanent resident of Davy Jones' locker. Keep an eye out for steel mats on the beaches. These were known as Marston mats and were commonly used in the construction of military airfields in World War II. And like many utilitarian designs at the time, they were used in a variety of unconventional ways. In Battlefield 5, Marston mats tell players where the water is shallow enough to cross in a vehicle without swamping it. So it's a good bit of info to know. That's all for this details video. Make sure to tell me your favorites in the comments below. And check out even more Battlefield 5 attention to detail videos with a link in the description. If you know of any hidden details, make sure to tell me down below in the comments as well. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Tap the bell for the latest Battlefield 5 videos. And as always, thanks for watching.